So I just got this from um, a company. I sent this to me. I think it's called J Diag um, Electronic and Technology Corporation. This is the Fastlink M2. And this is nice and this is red. So iOS or Android, you're gonna scan right here, um, or you're gonna go to the App Store and just see. Let's just search for J Diag um, Fastlink M2. And when you do that, you're gonna open it, and you're basically gonna. Make sure your Bluetooth is on. You can see right here, it says VCI is, is, is not connected or there's an X or it's, not, it's, it's in red. So you're gonna have to connect this to your car. My car, it's, it's right here. You're gonna go here. Here, we're gonna just go and push it in. And that's it. It's connected. Your vehicle, and we're gonna turn it on, but not starting the vehicle. Turn it on, try to connect. Ask, ask to allow, you're gonna see it's allow. You can see right here, Fastlink M2. Bluetooth. You're gonna, you're gonna select the Fastlink game too. It will show up, and it says connecting. It's looking for protocol. You can see right here. It's connected. And here you have a bunch of stuff that you can you can check on your vehicle. Your your vehicle info. Let's check vehicle info. So you can see right here it found it found the vehicle 2007 Nissan uh, specification recall. Let's see if there's any recalls. So suspension recall, airbag. Let's check suspension. Um, actually, there was a recall. We can click on that and it can give you the whole summary of the recall. I think I took care of that already. Airbag. And that might be one that I want to check because I have an airbag light that's always on right here. So that might be one that I want to check. So we're going to go back and let's just go down the, the list of stuff. Trouble, troubleshoot code. So let's see if we have any trouble code right here. And it says that there's one trouble code. So we're gonna click on that. The front heated oxygen sensor, P0, and it gives you a number too, P0, blah, 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 but it, it gives you a number, P0133, the front heated oxygen sensor. Um, I can clear it right here. So I can tap on that. One in this action will clear the code. Please confirm. I don't say, okay, I don't care. It's an old truck. So now that's gone. And yeah, let's go back. Enhanced scan. Let's just see what vehicles they have here. And Ford, Nexus, Mazda. Um, Nissan is not here. So battery, battery test. Let's see. Let's check our battery test. Twelve point one volts. So that's pretty good. It's in the green. We have a flashlight right here. Um, this DC DTC lookup. If you get any codes, you can look it up here. Um, it also has key programming, so it, it tells you, let's click on key programming and let's go down to my vehicle. And again, it's the oh, front here. So there's a front there right there. And I, so my model would be, so my model would be 2004 to 2010. So it tells you how to get, how to program your keys on there. Um, how to program the keys so you can buy your keys and program the keys yourself and this is one this is one video i really want to make so i'm going to go on amazon soon and 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 um and order some keys and try to program it, program it myself if, you, if you're going to do your vehicle inspection you can also do a, a test so right now the vehicle, vehicle running i'm going to do a smog check so it just did it um and the status successful engine lights off zero zero troubleshooting code zero trouble code zero code pending um misfire is good everything is green here um on this here the the egr or whatever that is um that's not supported so the, that those things are not supported um this one they said is the catalyst monitoring the test is incomplete um heat catalyst um uh, vehicle is not supported oxygen test is incomplete so a lot of this is not that it failed it's just that the test is incomplete but all what it did it looked like it passed it so you can look on here for save report so let's see save scans um some um, sample report because so when you go into your sample report it give you a rundown of all the things that there so you can see i had one two three uh four of them on there on this one they said that i had low engine coolant level which is which is which is right because I can, I can see here. Yeah, okay, that's right. Um, low engine coolant level, faulty engine coolant temperature. 
So because my yeah, so that 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 that's basically makes sense. So a lot of different things you can do on there. I mean, for 50 bucks, this is really really it's a go, guys. Again, I will leave all the link in the description for you guys down below. Check it out. This is Charlie. I'm out.